walked into a bar and wondered what they're doing with that cup of dice? Well, they could be playing one of several games, but today I'm going to introduce you to bar dice. Now, they do play this in bars, however, it is great for all ages, and you can play this at home or on the go, and all it takes is five dice. So let's go ahead and jump in, and I'll walk you through how to play bar dice. We start by rolling our dice. Now, to keep any dice, you first need a one, which we have. Ones are considered wild, and once you roll a one, you can choose to keep any other numbers or re-roll the rest of your dice. Now, we do have two fives and two twos. Fives are higher than twos, so I'm going to choose to keep the fives. If I wanted to, I could stop here, and everyone would have one roll to try and get either three sixes or four of a kind or higher of any other number. I'm going to choose to reroll my dice and try to score a higher score by getting more ones or more fives. All right, I rolled two more fives, so I have five fives in two shakes. That means the rest of the players have up to two shakes to try and either match that or get higher. So again, the goal of the game is to get as many of the same number as possible in the lowest amount of shakes, whether that be one or two shakes, or you use all three shakes. Now the rules can vary depending on your location in the United States or around the world. In Wisconsin, we play that if you roll a one and two threes, and then on my next roll, I roll two fives, I can switch those out. So I now have three fives instead of three threes. It gives me a higher score. There's some locations where they don't allow that. So you wouldn't be able to switch your numbers once you've kept numbers. So those are things that you need to pay attention to depending on your location and where you're playing. Just make sure when you're playing, the rules are clear. There's also things you can use besides just the dice. You can use a dice cup if you prefer, or if you're playing with kids. Sometimes that's easier if they have smaller hands. You just throw the dice in the cup and you roll. Also, if you're playing on the go or in an area where you don't have a lot of space, you can also get one of these. This is a dice tray. It's very compact and very easy to take with you on the go. You can set it in your lap and play it in the car, in a hotel room, wherever you're at. So this and a dice cup are certainly things that you could look into, especially if you have kids. It just makes it a little bit easier and a little bit cleaner during your gameplay. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button down below. Some of my upcoming videos are going to be more super fast, super easy dice games, as well as future board game reviews and product reviews. Hopefully I see you guys again soon, and until then, get your game on.